The Indian Space Research Organization has successfully launched the Earth Observation Satellite from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in orbit of ISRO's smallest rocket which now becomes fully operational for future missions. The mission is expected to boost New Space India Limited's commercial launch operations. Hailed as a man with no haters, nation remembers former Indian Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee on his 6th death anniversary. Prime Minister Modi also paid floral tribute to one of India's most powerful orator and gifted poet. Prime Minister Modi also met the Olympic contingent at his residence upon their return from the Paris Olympics Games, where they secured six medals. While interacting, Prime Minister Modi has asked for Indian athletes' help for a smooth hoisting of hosting of the Olympics in 2036. Notably, India will be bidding to host the Olympic Games in 2036. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister and Chandra Babu Naidu announced that efforts are underway to restore the state's brand, which he claims was tarnished over the past five years. In the first phase, the Naidu government also relaunched 100 Anna canteens across the state, which was one of the promises made by the TDP before the election results. Bangladesh's International Crimes Tribunal has initiated a probe against former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and nine other people on charges of crimes against humanity that took place during the student-led protests against her government. A total of record high number 39 candidates, including incumbent Ranil Vikrama Singhe, are in free for next month's presidential election in Sri Lanka. However, there was not a single woman candidate among the 39 presidential candidates for the September 21 election. This election would decide the course of the country's financial reforms to survive an unprecedented economic crisis. The Venezuela Supreme Court's electoral chamber has begun to check dozens of boxes with electoral material consigned by National Electoral Council, political organizations and former candidates. At the request of President Nicolas Maduro, the court is also carrying out an investigation into the election vote count after protests erupted throughout the country against results announced giving President Maduro the victory amid allegations of fraud from Venezuela's opposition. U.S. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris appeared together for the first time since he exited the 2024 race for the White House and she replaced him as the Democratic presidential nominee. Biden and Harris spoke at an event at Maryland about the administration's work to lower the cost of prescription drugs. They also praised each other. U.S.'s year-over-year inflation has reached its lowest level in over three years in July, which could make Federal Reserve also cut interest rates in September. The ongoing inflation slowdown could affect the presidential campaign given that former President Donald Trump has highlighted rampant inflation as a key failing of the Biden administration and its energy policies. As new details emerge, five people have been charged in connection with the ketamine death of French star Matthew Perry. Three of the defendants, including a doctor and the actor's assistant, are in plea agreements for federal drug charges in connection with his death, while two others, including a second doctor and a woman reportedly accused of selling Perry the batch of ketamine that killed him were arrested on Thursday. Moving over to Ukraine now, Kyiv has claimed its forces advanced further into Russia's Kursk region, gaining more ground and capturing the Russian town of Sudza. With this, it would be the largest Russian town to fall under Ukraine's control since the start of its cross-border incursion more than a week ago. Meanwhile, the surprise Ukrainian incursion has caused chaos in the Kursk region, causing the evacuation of more than 12, 1, 1, 1,20,000 civilians. In fact, authorities in the Kursk region have decided to evacuate more people amid the continued advance of Ukrainian forces into the border region. Navalny's widow has accused Russian authorities of refusing to open a criminal investigation into the death of opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who died in an Arctic penal colony. In a video released, Yulia Navalny has said that Russian investigators claim the cause of her husband's death was combined disease. She has also accused the investigators and Russian authorities of hiding the truth of her husband's death. The World Health Organization has now declared the highest level of alert a public health emergency of international concern due to the new variant of the Mpox viral disease in Africa. The WHO has said that Mpox cases have been found in 13 African countries and its new form is spreading rapidly. It is the second time in two years that the organization has issued the alert for the disease. 
Sweden has announced the first case of the more dangerous variant of Mpox. The country's public health agency has confirmed that it was the same strain of virus that surged in the Democratic Republic of Congo. With this, Sweden has also become the first country outside the African continent to report the most contagious strain of Mpox virus. The patient is believed to have contracted the virus during a visit to a region in Africa. Closer to home now, even Pakistan has confirmed its first Mpox case after a year. Uh, in fact, this includes a 34-year-old man who recently returned from Saudi Arabia tested positive for the virus. Now, health officials have begun contact tracing efforts to identify and monitor individuals who are in close contact with the patient, including fellow passengers on his flight from Saudi Arabia. The Spanish island of Mallorca has been inundated by heavy floods causing flight delays and also stranding passengers on a train struck on submerged rails. Flooding in neighboring island Menorca was also reported on Thursday with witnesses taking to social media to post footage of roads submerged by surging water. The country's Met Service issued several warnings for heavy showers and also storms throughout Mallorca. Hurricane Ernesto strengthened into a Category 2 storm as it barreled towards Bermuda after leaving hundreds of thousands of people in Puerto Rico without power or water. A hurricane warning is in effect for Bermuda as well. The earnest to expected to pass over the island on Saturday. Evacuation orders have been given for thousands of residents across Japan as Typhoon Ample has approached the coastal areas of Tokyo. Over the past two days, the tropical cyclone has gained strength and will continue to intensify over the next 12 hours. Taylor Swift fans are set to see their hero play live for the first time since last week's foil terror plot in Vienna. Thousands of fans are pouring into London's Wembley Stadium in full force for her era store, brushing off any worries about security after recent concert cancellations in Vienna. Despite concerns, the excitement and sense of unity among the Swifties are stronger than ever. Netflix has pulled off the biggest casting coup by bringing together actors Bhumi, Pennekar, Ishan Khattar, Zina Daman, Chanki Pandey, Milan Soman and others in the regal romance The Royals. The modern-day Indian royalty rom-com series is directed by Priya Ghosh and Nupur Asthana. The release date of the series is yet to be announced. The show also marks the web series debut of Bollywood actor Bhumi Pennekar. Deadpool and Wolverine has gotten off to a supercharged start at the box office, breaking the Thursday preview record for an R-rated movie. The comic book film sold an estimated 38.5 million worth of movie tickets from preview screenings. With positive reviews and also genuine fan enthusiasm, it is cruising to break more records over the weekend where it's playing in over 4,200 screens in the United States and Canada. Why am I here? Walk with me. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. Coraline returns to the big screen in a remastered 3D version to celebrate the iconic movie's 15th anniversary. The masterful stop-motion and animation debut from Oregon-based Laika is based on Neil Gaiman's novel. Welcome back. It's been a while. We've been waiting for you, Coraline. My name! You probably think this world is a dream come true. 